Hello everyone, my name is Luis Dentinho, this is my wife Rose. Today, we're going to, to show you a triangle choke from close guard. Okay, so, I will have a close guard. The first thing that we need to think about is going to be the knee position. My knee, when, when my back is flat on the ground, my knee is facing out. So, if I don't hold my opponent's arm, she will start pushing my knee. Okay, is when I start like trying to survive to keep my guard closed. So the first thing I like to do here is she will hold both sleeves. But for me to go to, to, to try and choke in the close guard, I will need to, to let go one sleeve and go to the collar. So if, if I go, she can start push my knee. Okay, come back please. So right here, I have this very simple detail. If I want to grab this collar, okay, right hand, my hip moving to the right. Right now, my knee is facing in. All right, again, move. Once my hand is going to the collar, I will bring my knee toward my chest. Try to push my knee. Right now, she doesn't have the angle. Once he tries to, try to push my knee, okay, I can go around right here. Now I push her arm, and then I have a half a way to try and reach I will move my hip to the other side, lock it. Now I need to cross the inside arm. See grip, palm facing down, control the head. My hip is too close to her hip. I will open the guard and step in the hip and then move back. Move back, bring my leg close to my hand, lock it. Go to triangle choke. Let's talk about the details right now. So I'll be holding four fingers inside the sleeves, okay? Once I want to use my right hand inside the collar, my hip moves to the same side. Before I let go, I need to bring my knee. Grab the collar. Once you try to open my guard over there, I can go over. Push. So right now, guys, there's one problem here. If I try to lock a triangle, the leg on top of the, of the shoulder is too high. Is when she can cross and then start passing my guard. So the detail I, I use here on the triangle showcase, the free arm has to be half on the ground. If the free arm is, is, is like too light, okay, she can move, is when she can pass my guard. So I will use my hand to the collar, and the her jaw right here, open the elbow, so she cannot move towards that side. Now look, I bite and move my hip. So this arm right now is going to be half on the ground. Control, okay, control and bite right here. Try to pass my guard, please. Right now, it's too hard. This leg, guys, you're gonna start closing the knee, okay, to this side, just to help me before I let go of the collar. Try to cross your hand, please. Look, I don't use my hand, and it's too heavy for her. Lift my hip a little bit, cross the arm. Palm facing down. If I control like this, she can take the arm out, so make sure the palm facing down. Before I open my leg to step in the hip, I will need to control the head because for the whole time she will try to push her up, okay? So right here, look, control the head, step in the hip, move back. Always looking to the free arm. Now guys, very quick in movement. I will let go of the head and control my leg, so that's why I will need to bring my leg close to my hand. Make a grip. Make sure you leave this small land right here so you can lock it. If you grab your toes, you, you, you're not going to be able to lock, so make sure you leave this small land right here. Control, toes face up. Right now, there's one mistake I see a lot of people doing. They try to squeeze the knees using the arm. If my heels on top of my, my opponent's back, I cannot squeeze my knee, so bring your heel out and down. Right now, I can squeeze, and I don't need to use too much my hands, okay? Thank you very much, I hope you guys enjoy and uh, don't forget guys, subscribe to my channel, every week I keep posting videos, alright, and I hope you guys enjoy, peace!